This is why you need to start adding sound effects to your Google Slides. You may have never considered it before, but adding sound effects to a presentation can help enrich your visuals and create a more immersive storytelling experience. Consider using sounds like voiceovers or capture your audience with entertaining audio clips. Sound effects can be utilized during a pitch, for example, to further immerse the audience into the experience that you're trying to sell. Or they can be used to emphasize important points during a presentation to keep your audience engaged. However, keep in mind that extra sound can be distracting or confusing if they are overused or inconsistent, so be sure to use them wisely. So where can you find sound effects? First, think about the message that you're trying to convey within your presentation and what sound effects may be appropriate. If you aren't sure where to find sound effects, Jenny has plenty of options and you can even create your own sound effects using AI. Simply write the prompt of the sound that you're looking for and it will generate a few options that you can download directly to your computer. So once you have your sound effects ready, let's talk about how to actually insert them into your Google Slides presentation. So one thing to note is that Google Slides only allows MP3 and WAV audio files. So to add an MP3 or WAV file to your presentation from your computer, Begin by uploading it to your Google Drive by opening New and clicking on File Upload. Then once it's uploaded, right click on the file within Google Drive, click Share and adjust the sharing settings to anyone with the link can view. That way this ensures seamless playback when sharing your presentation. Then once you've opened the presentation, select Insert on the top menu bar and select Audio. Find the file and click Select and your selected audio file will be embedded in the slide that you choose. You can also adjust some of the settings. For example, choosing when the audio playback begins, if the sound will loop, etc. Choosing the automatic option begins the audio as soon as the slide comes up and eliminates the need to click on the sound icon during the presentation. Another option in the formatting section includes hide icon when presenting, which both creates a cleaner look and makes sure the sound icon does not take up the valuable space on the slide. For a sound effect or voiceover, be sure to choose Stop on Slide to avoid the audio from looping. Always be sure to run through your presentation by clicking Present on Google Slides to make sure that everything runs smoothly and exactly how you expected before the actual presentation. And make sure to adjust your settings as mentioned to make sure sounds won't loop or play automatically if you don't want them to during your presentation. And remember, if you can't find the exact sound effects that you're looking for, you can always generate your own sounds using Jenny. Try it out with a 14 day free trial at the link in the description below and be sure to like and subscribe for more future tips.